Uh, hi, happy Stray Kids Day to all those who celebrate. Um, <laughs> I'm going to Stray Kids 8 concert and I'm very excited. It's my second time to see them. I saw them at a fan meeting um, and this is going to a concert. Jayhom was supposed to come with me but like 10 minutes before we were supposed to leave he was like I don't really want to go because he's not coming to the concert because I could only get one ticket and he doesn't really care about Stray Kids. He was just going to come with me to like help me with the hotel and like carry my merchandise. So he was like I don't really want to go. Um, so I'm going by myself. It's my first time going anywhere really by myself in Korea, uh, especially Seoul. So I'm a little nervous because my Korean isn't that good. Um, I'm very excited for the concert. Um, I hope it's not too hot today. And yeah, let's go get the train. Um, so I gave up queuing and I went to get food. That was really hard. There was no seats, but this really lovely girl um, and her friend were like, come sit with us. Like, we were you like 20 minutes ago because there was like no seats in the cafe. And they were really nice and she gave me a little hair clip, but um, I'm, my hair's really thin, so it doesn't stay in well. Um, the clip is lovely. Um, but I'm rejoining the merch line. It's moved a little bit. I don't think I'd be much further ahead if I'd stayed in it anyway, because it was literally like, hadn't moved for like 20 minutes. So. I'm gonna rejoin. I'm going for today is ended, but they said I can come tomorrow. So my plan is, I'm just gonna come really early tomorrow. Like I'm gonna come when it opens, which I thought I did today, but actually apparently it opened at 10.30. I thought it was 12. Um, so I'm gonna come like nine o'clock tomorrow or something, and I'm gonna get my merchandise. Um, as for the stay zone thing, actually, if I can find the end of stay zone, I might join that because I did pre-order it. Um, and it's still like, four hours until the concert and I'm just here um, by myself so we're gonna join some queues and see what we can do yeah and I'll show you guys the concert when they're obviously I can't show you too much of each song to get like copyrighted but I'll get you guys the vibe they were really good at the fan meeting so I'm hoping it's a similar vibe today for the concert uh, I just need to figure out where the hell stay zone starts because it's a long queue oh. <laughs> Stay zone is basically you had to pre-register, um, and if you yeah, you can only the thing the, 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 I can't speak. The merch is open to anyone. You don't even have to have a ticket to any of the days to go to it. But for the Stray Kids Zone, Stay Zone, Stay is the name of the fandom. If you don't know anything about Stray Kids, you're probably not watching this video if you don't know anything about Stray Kids. Um, but if you're a Stray Kids fan, you're a Stay, and you pre-registered and you have to have a ticket for today, um, and you got like little gifts. I actually got a different member, but you have like it's really cute. People gather at the exit and like hello I'd like to change this for you know and they say the member they want and someone wanted I had uh, Lino and I love all the members I do but Sungmin's my favorite and I was like oh my god yeah oh this is gonna go before the actual show so because I forgot to say obviously there's like strobe lights and stuff so if you get triggered by that sort of thing like epilepsy or whatever then please caution
didn't manage to get every song. I was trying to not, one, get copyrighted. I don't know if we're even going to play any of the songs. And two, I was enjoy- like vibing. So um, it was so good. They did two encores. They performed like most of my favorite songs. It was amazing. It was amazing. Um, I'm so glad I came. So many lovely people, like the girls who let me eat lunch with them. Then um, I met like my kind of new friend. Like we just exchanged cows. I'm actually waiting for her and we're going to walk back together whenever her concert's finished. Um, yeah, everyone's just been so lovely. I've got loads of just like goodies from fans. The girl sitting next to me gave me a little cake, like little biscuit. Um, just, oh, I love stays. We're, we're so sweet. Um, and I've had a great time. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I, I just... If you can, I don't know if you can hear the music from her concert, my friend's concert that I'm waiting for her. Um, yeah, it's, it was about two and a bit hours long. They started a little bit late because the admission took longer than expected. Um, so good. It was so good. I want to go back. Um, anyway, that's going to be... I will do a final wrap up once I get to the hotel. Okay. Hello. Hi. Um... I'm worried that I didn't even wait. I woke up at seven and I'm worried that that's not going to be early enough to get merch because I don't know how early other people are going, but I'm going to leave in like 10 minutes. I don't need long to get ready because um, I don't really care about looking good today. I'm just getting through the day. Um, I feel like some people are complaining that the concert was short. It was about two hours, a little bit over. Um, I, I thought it was fine. I was also kind of tired. It would have been a long day for me. Two hours of them intensely. There was, I think the problem, another reason people are upset is because there was a lot of s- the screen time. What I mean is like the screen would be closed, there'd be no one on stage and it would just be like animations. There was quite a lot of time like that. I would say only a couple of minutes in total though, while the kids are taking a break, which they need when they're performing, and they're going to do a massive tour. They can't do three hour shows every night. I know Miss Taylor Swift is, but the level of dancing and stuff they're doing is like, you know, um, I don't know. I think I think it was a appropriate length. People wanted them to stay on for like another hour or have less a break, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was good. I had a great time. People are saying there wasn't a proper ending. They did S- Stray Kids, the song. Um, and they did like, I don't know, I, I felt like it was fine. I don't know, people just have unrealistic they just The ticket was like 150,001. Sorry, I just drank some of the banana milk. I know, EP. Um, yeah, which is like 120 pounds and like 130, 140 dollars. I'm not great at conversions, but something like that. So it was a little bit more expensive than like a fan meeting, but I felt like I got my money worth. I had a good time. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like they didn't disappoint. They did enough, in my opinion. Um, and I feel like some people just have unrealistic expectations. And they want everything from them all the time. And it's like, guys, they're human. They have to take breaks. They have to consider their long-term health if they're going to keep this up. Like, I don't know, maybe compared to other concerts they've done, this was shorter. But maybe there's a reason for that. I don't know. I just, in my opinion, it was fine. I know other people have different opinions. But I thought it was fine. Okay, I'm going to go try and buy merch. Hopefully the line's not too long yet. Wish me luck. I think the merch line is already super long, oh my god. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you. I can't actually see my phone screen. I need to up the brightness, but um, yeah, that's what it looks like. So I was number 603 in line, because you had to queue, scan a QR code, and get a like physical stamp, like physical ticket. And then later, the, like there's, the code gives you, leads you to a website that's going to tell me when I can go and also how much stock there is. And I'm really worried that I'm gonna have to just sit there and watch the Sungmin stop, stock slowly go. Um, but yeah, hopefully the 600 people before me don't buy all of the Sungmin stuff. Um, <laughs> they should have enough stock, they, like they should have more stock than that, I think, right? I would expect it, it'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. Especially when people buy more than they need, you know? Um, and now we're just waiting for it to open and it will tell me when I can go and I'm very excited 
and I'm gonna have a lot of time to kill so I'll just go to a cafe or something after that but I'm gonna stay around here until this is done because I don't want to go too far I mean it doesn't even open until half nine and right now it's half eight so I've got an hour um, and none of the restaurants are open for breakfast so yeah Okay, so I'm gonna, there's, it's like 8.30, like I said, Tucson Place opens, which is a cafe, opens at 9, so I'm just gonna wait until 9 and then go there, uh, and then hopefully 9.30, 10, 10.30, because I think I can stay until like 11 and then I have to go get my train. Hopefully I'm not gonna be too far behind, like, hopefully I'm not too late after 9.30. I think I should be able to get the much I want. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go sit down for a little while and uh, I'll go have a cafe time soon it's so hot and it's not even nine yet i got some lemonade from a convenience store while i wait for tucson to open just like a personal message to stray kids if they see this they're not gonna see it but could you have your next like fan meeting or concert in korea not in winter and not in summer because the fan meeting was too cold and the concert and it's too hot you could have it in like spring or autumn that would be lovely I can't do this. I had to, I had to leave. I couldn't get the merch. But the one good thing, there's a cacao friend store at the station I'm at. Um, so I'm gonna do some shopping there and try and make myself feel better. The merch line was just taking way too long. I waited, so I was number 603 and I waited an hour and they were only up to number 200 and I had to leave half an hour after that. So like, I just had no time to do it um, and we couldn't change the trains so I'm disappointed I'm really upset but we move hello hi this is several hours after I got home um, I sort of came home and just collapsed and had like a three hour nap um, I know people are gonna be like that's not a nap that's a sleep if it's not by bedtime it's not sleeping it's napping okay and that's how we make ourselves feel better about it um, yeah I just got home napped call my dad about wedding stuff but we haven't really decided anything yet so it was just a lot of everyone sharing their opinions and not making any decisions because we were probably gonna do we're gonna do two probably the korean one and then the uk one um probably not like a full ceremony in the uk because we unless i don't know we need to do research about like if it's worth doing the papers in both um but anyway yeah just been super exhausted um it was two long days and then like I'm one of those people, I don't know if it's because of my autism or because I'm an introvert, but I need like at least one day where I do nothing and I just rest. And I didn't get that this weekend obviously and that's no one's fault but my own, I didn't have to go to a concert. Um, but because of that I am just feel like I'm not going to be at my best this week. So next weekend I'm doing nothing. It's going to be beautiful. Um, but yeah, straight to the concert, very good. Loved it, very nice. I wish I got managed to get merch, but there were people who had been there like the whole night. Um, people who had been there, like there was a girl who was, she got there at six and she was like number 400 in line. And I'm like, I still would have had to leave if I got there at six. Like next time I'm gonna have to get her at like four in the morning. I just, yeah. Um, other people are crazy. Um, crazier than me. I don't know, I don't know if I could actually do that. Like honestly, I'm not a morning person. And I know that's like, no one would be good at four in the morning, but I just, to me that is torture. I get up at 6.30, half six for work every day. And that to me is early. Um, so getting up earlier than that, just to get merch, I'm not sure if I'm strong enough. Um, but maybe next time I will. Or maybe I can get some stuff on the online store, but it always sells out. Anyway, thank you for coming with me on this wild ride <laughs> of Stray Kids stuff. I'll see, I really hope we can include some of the videos, but obviously I don't want to get copyrighted and you know, I hope you guys go and find their music if you haven't really heard of them. They're really cool. <laughs> Leo's. Sorry about the k -k sound, that's the air con. We don't have it on while we're sleeping because it's so noisy, but while we're getting ready for bed, we turn it on to cool the room down and Leo's just looking at it like... <laughs> um. Oh god, I've been talking so much. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we don't even know what the next video is at the moment because right now, as you're watching this, we're just editing the second Japan video and then we're just going to do one more Japan video and then this Stray Kids one. So after that, I'm not sure what our next video is going to be, but 
yeah thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you would like to okay goodbye